as you have blessed Ibrahim alayhi salam and his family. Truly you are praised, praised out there and glorious. And uh, here the do's and don't I do actually like I try to maintain during my prayers days. Uh, normally we girls are like having a break for for five to seven days and after this sexy five to seven days it's coming back in our regular uh, work activities or regular practicing life is kind of a bit hard sometimes we got a obstruction like not getting again that same uh, energy or same attraction same interest uh, to coming back in the regular life but we actually have to get in so this is the time we should not get like totally off from making dua or staying close to close to Allah. So this is the time we can do istighfar as much as we can do. So I try to do every day 1000. This is uh, in regular or normal days and also I keep continuing during my prayers. And uh, Dawood or Fatiha that I just uh, sh share with you that Dawood Ibrahim, this is the one I recite mostly. But there are Dawood Nahviya and there are uh, also Dawood Fat, Dawood Shafi, Dawood Daumi, Dawood Tunajina. So there are huge Dawood. So whatever you uh, memorize you can just recite it as much you can do so i i just finished it today and uh, for istighfar i completed 500 till now i will uh, continue to do it this is not only 1000 i do i try to do as much as i can and uh, tasbih like i i always try to recite Allah Akbar Subhanallah and uh, Alhamdulillah 30, 30, 30 and 34 so it around 100 times so every cycle I do Alhamdulillah Subhanallah and Allah Akbar for 30, 30 and 34 it's around 100 so if I do it's 5 times in a day it's 500 and uh, scholar in Quran so today I didn't take any note uh, so I didn't did it today but I will do it and more adult kusi. So this is the time we stay kind of uh, even we make udu we are not that uh, holy. So we, we need to uh, keep on reading adult kusi to uh, keep our soul uh, more orderly like our soul is not distracted from love. And uh, scholar in Quran I just try to do every day so I can learn new words meaning I told earlier that I uh, I told earlier that I write Quran but the problem is I don't know the meaning of each and every words that's the problem so I'm trying to get like my vocabulary increasing every time so that I can like add uh, words people but the thing is I want to know each and every word of Quran so that uh, I can understand actually what is the meaning and I can apply this all in my life uh, this other does and not doing so we cannot pray this time that we know all and uh, kiam or siam or uh, fasting we cannot do fasting when we have prayers but uh, we don't need to pray what we miss during this time but if we miss uh, the Ramadan or fasting during the month of Ramadan we need to do it later on so I used to do it always uh, this is not the first time so I tell when I know it like from eight nine years ago I started to do it and I'm continuously doing it every year after the KM after uh, Eid uh, two three days later I start to do it and finish as, as soon as I can because uh, if we leave it on the midway uh, there is high chance that we forget it and uh, we should not go mosque during uh, our administration days and uh, as we as i am reading uh, from this uh, soft copy prohibited to touch quran or reciting from quran during this time because this is the time we if even we make udu we are not that holy so we should maintain it and uh, keep continuing to stay close more close or closer to Allah, to Islam, to our religion, so that our life doesn't get distracted from anyhow, any way, 
from our resume. I know it is really really so hard after finishing periods to continue again the same routine but if we try to keep it continuing I think it is not that hard and inshallah all of our sister we will continue it and make our life more easy. That's a whole lecture called sincerity. But let's give you the bottom line as we say. If I am, or let's say this way, and also includes any action in the house. So you said you're cooking, and you said I'm cooking because I'm taking care of my family, and that's what Allah wanted me to do, and I am in an act of worship. Mm. Then Allah is gonna say, Really? This is for me? I'm um, yep, yes, Ya Allah. So anytime we do something pleasing to Allah, external, internal, and the intention is for Allah. If I don't get the praise and I get upset, then revisit your niyyah. Or if I get people who will criticize me and I get upset, then I need to revisit, revisit my knee. I take the criticism very well because you know what? I say Allah sent them to show me something. I didn't see it. Maybe that was not my intention or that I didn't pay it. So Alhamdulillah, but I don't get upset. Because if you get upset when someone come and tell you your shortcomings, revisit your niya. And also ego comes there. Anytime someone tells you you're wrong, and a lot of people say that, I get upset, then I need to really work on my ego. So in the public eye, it's more obvious. But it's actually in everyday action. But in public eyes, are because now you people know you, people you don't want to take pictures with you and all this. You keep reminding yourself in and out, literally, in and out, before a lecture, after a lecture, before an um, uh, interview, after the interview. You say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, it's only for 